Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0IQJ. This week's video, we're going to modify the Yaesu FT65. We're going to wideband it and give it a dual line display. And the good thing about this is, if you don't want to wideband it, or you want to turn the wideband off and turn the dual display off, the mod is totally reversible. So let's do the dual display first. If I turn the radio on, You've also got a one line display, 145425. Turn it off. On the side here, you've got a PTT switch and a 1750 hertz tone switch. Press these two, so the PTT and the 1750 hertz tone, and turn the radio on. Then you'll get this menu come up, and you want F8, where it says dual display. It says on mine there, F8 dual display, and then push the function button there. The radio then reboots and gives it a dual display and then you can use the V-stroke M button to go from A, so from memory, so A, memory A, VFOB, memory and back to VFOA, VFOB and memory. So I go to VFOA and I key up, you'll see I've got an error on the screen. So I turn the radio off hold the 1750Hz tone and the PTT switch turn the radio on and the menu appears again and I enter in the following code 6240666 and 5 the radio then reboots and allows us to TX on 446 to reverse it turn it off Hold the PTT and the 750 hertz tone. Turn the radio on and enter in 6, 2, 4, 0, 6, 6, 6, 5. Radio then reboots. And there we go, we've turned the wide band off. I can turn it off again. 750 hertz tone, the power button. Turn it on. And on the dual display, push the function button. There we go, it's gone back to a single line display, making it a lot easier to read. If you found this video of some use, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, the other button seems to work too. So it was a video on how to mod this Yaesu FT65. Why band it, give it a dual line display. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. 7 threes.